They're good. I call this meeting the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 25th day of May uh, 2021 at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you, God, for your many blessings, what you're doing for us, Lord. And God, we're so thankful that you're putting people back to work, Lord, and you're opening our communities back up. And Lord, we just thank you for everything that you do provide for us. And help us tonight, Lord, that we would conduct this meeting and do it according to your word, what you would have us to do. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, before you have the minutes of the May 11th meeting, uh, I need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Motion for Sam Small. Second. Segment Joe Barnes. Uh, is there any uh, discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Uh, being done. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh, like that. Minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claim payments and transfers. So moved. Motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion? Yeah, I am. Can we look at maybe if there's any other plans out there to cover hotspot or anything uh, mobile? Uh, you probably already looked, but I just noticed I seen that kind of jump out of me this time. Mm -hmm. Well, like I'll luck. check with uh, Libby when she gets back, and I don't think we have the same thing, but kind of compares to what we do have. And right, which I think you said you might have already answered it. I kind of heard you say it. That might have been three months worth. Yeah. That might have been why I didn't see any and then all of a sudden. What about the long distance? Have we always been charged long distance? Uh, now, the cell phones, I don't know. Is that, your, is phones. that your landlines, probably, though? Joe, I think our hotspots are about $700 a month. Really? On that, uh, that's probably yeah. a couple of guys. But how many do you have? Uh, there's probably 10. Okay. Probably so when you break it down that way, it's. If they're using their own, yeah. If I just seen the long distance on there, so I thought, well, maybe we ought to look around on the plans and see. I know sometimes when you heckle with them, they well, give you a better I'll, deal. Uh, well, the long distance is for like the landlines. That was so, kind of what I figured. And our long distance bill is not ninety dollars a month for the, every county phone we have. Well, see, I seen one that was like seventy-four, and there was another one in here. And I didn't know. Well, well, we get the cheapest long distance. It's okay. the touch tone. Okay. Further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign. Bills and claims are, are paid. Uh, treasurer's report. Place a motion we acknowledge. Motion by Sam Small that we acknowledge the treasurer's report. A second. A second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion? <laughs> any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign, motion carries. Next you have budget ordinance 2021-3, the second reading. Um, I need a motion to approve. You got that back from the state? We don't, but we, we talk to them and expect no changes whatsoever. So what be proven is the very same one we've seen. Well, Larry, nobody's got an objection on that motion. We they're only working in the office on Wednesdays, so everything's been really slowed down on getting stuff back. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second by Larry Cam. Discussion. But there was, they didn't see any, nothing that we thought we'd have to adjust. No, I had to move something somewhere else, but it was just from spot A to spot B, and it made no difference in the bottom line. I have line. a question. Yes, sir. Is this a record for time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I think it is, not either. I mean. Okay, uh, roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yeah. Johnston? Yes. And I believe maybe 
that's uh, since I've been in my eleventh uh, uh, budget, that had I believe it's the only second one that ever passed unanimously. So we've been good. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really happy about it. Tickle the dance. Does that mean a dinner for the court? It does. <laughs> it does. Bribery. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, to get through the rest of this year, in please a budget man, amendment 2021-4, budget amendment. That has to do with that uh, same pot of money we had to do before for the new budget. That, uh, ARPA. Yeah. I call it. Yeah. Even though we won't spend uh, any of it, we have to put it in the budget. It won't be spent this year at all. Is that the copy we got the last meeting? Uh, I don't think so. Pass that down. I'll make a motion, Judge. Motion by Sam Small. Second by Larry Cam. Discussion? I really don't know why they made us amend it in because we're not going to spend it until next year. That's what you say. This is it. Guidelines out. And this, this is it. That's no. what I was thinking because the the rescue plan is for next year, isn't it? Yeah, but we got we got the money, so we had to show them this year because the CARES Act money was for this this year. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. But th this won't be spent. But we still have to put it in there. Okay. Yeah. We'll be a so dollar be spent, spent next year, fiscal year. Yes. If we can, yeah, if we, if we can figure out how to do it, so will we um, have to amend our budget that we just passed because of no, no, okay. no. no it was already in the end. Yeah. We put it in that one, but we had to put it in this one that we're working it's on. Is that earmark? And since you can put it all yeah. Uh, yeah. it's in a special fund, a federal fund, and as of today, I would say we're 99 percent unsure of what we can spend it on. They have not given us guidance. But we can get interest on it. But you can't use it for like necessity. If an emergency grows, could you use it for that? Well, it depends on what emergency, but probably not. No, it, it's probably not. Uh, we, we, like you said, there's a lot more we don't know than we do know about it. And we're, we're on these Zoom meetings all the time. And uh, so far, uh, I'm trying to pick on somebody, but uh, anyone could have told us as much as the federal treasury deal. I've got a, a little two-page sheet that they sent out that kind of gives a broad overview. I'll mail each one of you that copy uh, so you'll just have some kind of ideal. Okay. Hopefully if this infrastructure plan passes that they're talking, that'll be some money there for uh, what you're talking about. Okay. Bro. All right. All in favor say aye. Both like saying that had and bad and spend all that in California. Well, I'm hoping he'll spend a little bit of time. Uh, bed is, yes. There was an ordinance you want to do a roll call. Okay, go ahead and roll call. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, Bez, the guest didn't come, so we put that off until next meeting. Uh, but she's done a lot of work on it, trying to figure out our, our uh, lines and everything. We do know everybody runs in the same district they're in now next year. Reapportionment's been put off technically for a year, so everybody's in the same district now that they were 10 years ago. Won't be no roads at all changed? No, not until the middle of next year, but then it don't go in effect until 2026. It'd be silly right now, I would think, because I mean, if we're just turning next year, you, after this year, you've got an election, kind of be a lot of confusion. Yeah, but we'll do it, but then it'll be, uh, it really won't be official uh, as far as our filings or anything like that, I think. Yeah. Uh, Larry, you're up. Uh, oh, okay. He's going to talk about an local agreement for our, for our proposed regional jail. No, I'm not sure exactly sure how the motion should read, but it's just entered into the governmental agreement uh, addressing the uh, possibility of a new jail, and it'll be with Ohio County, Butler County, and Edmondson County. Uh, for the judge, is there anything I need to add in that? Motion? And for the judge to be able to execute. Uh, for the judge to be able to execute the agreement. Do I have a second? Second. Second to Sam Small. Discussion? I think it's a good time. Go ahead. Cam? Yes. 
Morpheus? Yes. yes. Small? Yes. Blow up? Y yes. Barnes? So is this to do a feasibility study or? This could, yes. And we're just, just get things going? Yeah, just get just just yeah, okay. going. It's going to be a lot cheaper than the one we've done before, isn't it, Judge? Yeah. Then that we should not, share. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Johnson. Yeah, we're going to share the cost there. Okay, I know we talked about, I'm sorry, but I know we talked about that feasibility study. Yes, that so. interlocal government approved. I'll sign that and go to the other counties. And uh, the next part of that is paying for it. And Larry, I think you guys are going to do that. Okay, the, as we talked before, guys, the, uh, the cost of the feasibility study was $7,500. We had a Zoom meeting. Uh, the judge uh, self talked to the judge of respective offices and we agreed to pay half because we have quite so many people in, on the jail roster as they do. Um, so, but we're going to put the $7,500 for the feasibility study. A lot of counties far will be $3,750. Butler's will be $1,875, and Edmondson counties will be the same. Uh, uh, what did you say, Judge? Did you say Edmondson County already? Sent to check on theirs. Theirs is in the mail, yes. And Butler County is waiting for a meeting, meeting for the Wild County, for Butler County Fiscal Court to uh, to come on board, which the judge didn't see any problem. Now, did they go with the uh, county population or jail population? Jail population. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now this, I don't know how this will progress as we move on through the procedures that has to be done, but I'll certainly keep the court informed. What do they do? Average that over a year, or is it? Judge, Judge, once you get the signatures um, from Butler County and Edmonton County, Judge, if we, yeah. we need to pass that to the Department of Local Government at the state office. They also have to sign off. Yes. Uh, but I would entertain a motion that we uh, enter into a contract with uh, Brian Skinner, uh, RSA Advisors LLC out of Lexington, Kentucky, for feasibility study uh, in the amount of seventy-five hundred. Ken, and this is just like you was kind of talking about. Oh, that's all they do. They're not a construction firm, right? Right. And that was, you know, we talked about that before. Yeah, before it's just kind of like a sales yeah. pitch. Yeah. You know, but this <laughs> paid for a sales pitch almost. It's I mean, very much. It was more of this one. Yeah. Okay. And I, I, may, I may be reading wrong. Second. Judge, I may be reading this gentleman wrong, but he, uh, he seems to be upfront, straight, and honest, and may. Lexington. We've talked to him several times already now. Yeah, motion motion is by one Larry and second by Joe. Uh, hey, will you real quick, will you read those? What, what's our parts again? Uh, 7,500 is the total, Jason. 3,750 will be our part, a lot of counties part. 1,875 for Butler and Edmondson okay. County each. All right. Where will that money come from, man? I have it on the needs assessment list. She said the fifth district. Yeah. Fifth district. Fifth district. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll, did we vote on that? He just got a burp now, yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Approved. Um, just hang, get on here next one. I'm going to do that just in a minute. But I've got a question. Uh, I was trying to get. Uh, We've got these personnel, we got some personnel things for the golf course, and I've got four, and this Mr. Renfro we've already hired. What's the pay raise? Oh boy, he's good, good. Well, <laughs> uh, two of those are pay raises, they... Uh, I see them, I see them. Okay. Okay, okay. We have four personnel issues. Let's do the two hiring first. Uh, the first one is uh, Brittany uh, Morphew. <laughs> At 868 an hour seasonal, uh, effective 52621, just need a roll call. More for you. I'm on a page because that's my granddaughter. Okay, Cam. Uh -huh. Cam? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Okay, the next one I have is also. A hire. It's um, Caleb uh, Snyder. It's also part time seasonal at eight sixty eight an hour. Uh, Effective five twenty six twenty one. That golf course part. also. Yeah, all these are. I've got four here. They're all golf course. Cam. Yes. Morphew. Yes. Small. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. 
These are all open positions in the budget, correct? Yes. Yes. Johnson? Yes. These two were the new ones. These others are raised. It's where we didn't get they had a couple quit, hadn't they, Judge? Yes. Yes, there's been quit. What was the effective date? The 26th, 526. Then the next two are uh, paid corrections. Uh, we got Megan Bays. She's seasonal. She'll go from 7.68 an hour to 9.70, effective 5.23. Cam? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Does that fit in our wage? The, the 7.68 is not even on the scale. I don't know how that happened. I think you just looked at the records from before y'all did that. Yeah. So this fits. So this fits. Uh, yes, it's on the way still. Yes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. The next one is Mr. Tony Renfro. Same deal. Uh, he's seasonal. He's not seasonal part time. He's seasonal. Uh, from uh, eight sixty eight to nine uh, seventy. Tony Renfro. Effective Can't. five twenty three. Count. Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? I assume since the other one was the same pay, it's the same job description, fits in the uh, wage. Yes. yes. Johnson? Yeah. What was the prices on them? What was, what was the starting pay and the raise date? Yeah. Uh, he's got papers. Hey, Larry, uh, David, yeah. he wants to know the, from 8 whatever to 9. Oh, I'm sorry. 8 I'm sorry. to 970. On the last one, yeah, eight seven eight nine. That was for Renfro, <laughs> and the other one was seven something. Sixty-eight seven sixty-four. He is actually a uh, running the equipment. He's more groundskeeper. They want to work in the whole job. Talk about Renfro. Yeah, he's a good mechanic too. Yeah, he's, he's a, we're lucky to have him. Yep. Um, that girl we hired, that first girl, she pretty good. She get his boat. <laughs> what? Did you get yeah, there you go. I, I'm glad it wasn't Brady Bra Bra and Cole because I was losing call yeah. phone calls about yeah. him out there. Yeah, you <laughs> are. I said, I'm just glad it wasn't Brady and Cole because. Now I've lost my agenda. Oh, they not here. I've surely got one here somewhere. I surely wasn't out of the way. Okay. Um, well, that's why I was attached to that. Okay. Um, the next thing we have. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Larry again, uh, and then we'll go into the regular, uh, back into the regular committee report. So he's got another committee thing. I saw him go ahead and do it. Are you want it done now, Joe? Yes, sir. Okay, doke. Okay. Uh, I want to entertain a motion that we uh, make an agreement with Hydro Protects LLC. Nolan Dam Road, Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. Uh, it's a Hydro Protects LLC, and it relates to a, uh, I suppose Raymond Hagen is the chief officer of that particular company. And uh, but with Charlie's help, we're going to try with uh, Ohio County trying to secure funds to take care of the log jam up on uh, Randy Haney's uh, uh, farm up there near the uh, at Rough River. So, uh, uh, hydro protects, you say? Hydro protects, P R O T E C K T S. And, and allow me to sign that contract. And allow the judge to sign this contract so we can get it underway. Well, yeah, I'll second. Uh, Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave. I'll second. Second by uh, Joe Bonner. Any further discussion? Similar to the Maverick contract, we don't have any obligations. So, uh, you know, whatever they can secure, they can have the right to perform the work, but we're, we're under no obligations. Larry, do you and have that? We can that? terminate. I made sure you put the language in there, similar to Maverick. Do you have terminate. one? <laughs> <laughs> I need to copy that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the only one. So, oh, is that the well, one? I hope they put well, on the... I want to get Mr. Haney a copy, too, so okay. at the end of the meeting, if you'll go make a couple of copies. Yeah. Appreciate it. Okay. All favor say aye. Aye. Hope like time. Yeah. Hopefully they'll move on with it this time. And hopefully. Uh, now we're in for the other committee reports. Um, do we have uh, any other committee reports? Uh, specifically, didn't the broadband committee meet? Uh -huh. 
Can somebody give me a report on that? Oh, I never was. We, a, we I never was informed that that's okay. Well, we, we probably would have had to send the mail notice to you. We'll <laughs> make you do that next time. Um, but we uh, we met, and it, a lot of it was just general discussions. We were just figuring out some ways that, that we're going to attack this, hopefully through grants and a number of other issues and things that we discussed with, with, with Jody. Uh, so we're just beginning. We were just initial stages and, and had some ideas, and we're going to go from there. I don't think we set a new meeting, did we? Or? No, Jody was going to get get with everybody and kind of okay. figure out what we is it. Is that something I'm on? No, I, I think, uh, I, well, I don't know. I think it's the no. there. There yeah. he is, Dustin, Jody Ashby. Can I, that may be it. it? I missed the meeting. Uh, Jeff, 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 Jeff Morris. Jeff Morris. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Bill Morris is my last one on the board or something. So. Okay. And I, I got that. <coughs> So I was afraid that might have been one of you. Uh, I do, one of your committees, so do, it does need to, we've got some time. But uh, in our coach coverage things we passed the other day, you remember there was some road equipment in there. You need to go ahead and really evaluate everything, make sure we get exactly what we need the okay. worst. It's to, you know, really evaluate all the equipment and see what we're in the work here. Okay. They got their new trailer and all the mini excavator on it. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Pulls it behind the Kenmark uh, dump truck and goes, yeah, it's just perfect. You can just walk right up on there. You don't have to worry about that track over. Peter Todd. Is there been any other committee reports? Any other committees met? Uh, the mental, mental health one didn't meet, has it, does uh, no, I believe it's next. Not week. since last time. Okay, okay. We had, we met a week before or a day before the last. Okay, week. that's right. I haven't talked to them, but are they finished with the rig up on quarter horse? Oil? It's back to three ton movement. It's open. I mean, they're done, but the gentleman called me and they done everything that they could supposed to do. Well, he said a lot of the uh, places that Steve was lifted up is loose in there. And if it comes to the washing water, that's going to talk to him. Oh, okay. But I didn't know about that. I'll hold it. I didn't know about that. Any other committees meet? Um, the uh, COVID-19 report, I'm going to give it really quickly here. Uh, we're doing better, but I'm very disappointed in our vaccine, the vaccine rate. We're the second lowest rate of vaccine vaccinations in the county. I mean, our county is second lowest in the grad district. There's only one, Union County, is the only one that has a lower vaccination rate than we do. What percentage are we, Judge? Uh, we're at 27%, and everybody else got in the 30s. Davis is 40. And that's the overall population. And our population of 65 and older, we're only at 56%, and the grad uh, area is 80%. So uh, that makes us, means we just need to do better there. Other ways we're doing better, our cases keep going down. We've had a lot fewer this week than we've ever had uh, in, you know, in a year. And so in a lot of ways we're doing better. We haven't had any new deaths since the last meeting. We're still at, at 56 deaths for our county, which is a lot of people to die from one virus. But we're, it looks like we're climbing out of this thing. What was the, the grad over the whole thing? What was the grad percentage over the, the whole district? All of it. Uh, it's uh, 32, 32%. Um, we've just done some effort. We've had a, had that vaccination clinic out to Purdue, uh, and uh, I think I think they got several there because it was one of those no ask, no questions asked. You can get your shot. So anyway, but anyway, I'm going to uh, uh, now go to the master's comments and requests. Sam, you got anything? I'm good, Judge. Joe, I know you've got some. Yeah. So we've got a, some co-severance money that held, held over from last year that was 
for the uh, senior center to purchase a vehicle. And they've got two vehicles that they're looking at here. One's a white minivan. And uh, looks like these are from uh, Don Moore. Yes. Right? And, uh, see, did they send it to Charlie here? Um, $23,696. And then we've got a, that's a minivan. And then we've got a SUV. Let's see what right here. Did you, did you say it was an escape? It's either an escape or a Durango. I thought it was an escape. Did it say? No. No, I can't find where it says. They're, they're both the same class. <clears throat> that Durango should be bigger. Oh, yeah. That's where you're going. Isn't it Durango a dog? Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Mm -hmm. That's a Durango. Yeah, I, no, I mean, it don't. I'm pretty sure it's a Ford Escape. But that would be the only other possibility. Well, anyway, it doesn't say on here. How much is it? It's 25360 Now, I believe they'd rather have the van, but they didn't know how quick the van would be available. And uh, Are these both is, new? Are these both new? Well, yes. The See, this one doesn't show me anything. They're 21 miles, both of them are. That's that <clears> here's <throat> four wheel drive. Are these, what are these going to be used for? Just the meal well, delivery? Okay. Or? The, the meal delivery is primary objective. However, if they get the van, they'll also use it for a transport of seniors. Well, There'll be seven passengers. Yeah, we really kind of need to know what, or we can just say the van when it gets here, I guess. See it? They don't, it don't. They don't say Do that. you use MO, stock number, vehicle, no, van? I'm going to say that van anymore. Of course, that go yeah. We can hold it. Table at another meeting, and you can get your, and then, we, then you'll know for sure which one came in quicker. Yeah. But but if the van's gonna uh, do a dual purpose job, then I don't think there's any question which one they want. Right. I, I right. think probably Joe, it's not as important if we can get probably. I think Larry starts at thirty-two thousand dollars. I think the speed is uh, not this. They would be. It would be no more than five weeks getting it. But if they're going in stock, we might even get it tomorrow. If there's one in another lot that they get it from. Well, I tell you, well, why don't we just wait for the van? Yeah. Okay. That's what I uh, I mean, if it, like Larry said, if it's going to be dual purpose, why would we want to? Right. Just and it's cheaper, too. Yeah. Okay, so what was the amount on the van, and what is it? $23,996. Well, I don't really know what it is. I can't make that. Oh, no, a 2021 Durango starts at $32,000. Do they have the money to get what they well, want? We've, we've been oh, getting it has, to be. it has to be. Exciting. Yeah, what they really want is less, actually. <clears throat> yeah, it's less the van, but I can't um, tell Miranda what kind of van it is. I can't read it. Uh, it's a it's a Chrysler Dodge. You want me to call Charlie? I think you better. I think it's the Voyager, but I, we get that a, is a Can we get a state contract yeah. bid on vehicles like that as well? Uh, we're not anymore. Like a pickup? And we've been pretty fortunate about the type pickups oh we my. have for the price. Here it is. It's a 2021 Voyager Ale. Ruckus. Well, I don't know whether we want a ruckus or not. It's about here. The party van or something, isn't it? It's right back. Is that what it is? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what do we need to do? Just tell them to find us one, or do we need yeah, to prove I, it? And then I, I, we need to prove it. So if they've got one tomorrow, I can get it. Okay, I would move it. Second. Motion by Larry Count. Second. Uh, it says Voyager. Voyager. Authorize and write the check. Does Andy yeah. write it? Yes. Any further discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. 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 I would like to say, and I'm apologizing to Joe on this. From now on, I will make sure we get things quick enough to get him to his committee meeting.
but this was one of these time things that really they're really needing it. So, uh, well, I should have looked when you handed this to me earlier. I should have looked at it, but I can't, I just can't read it. But uh, you got another pen? No, thank you. Larry, nope. Larry, you got any business? No, no, I'm sorry. Jefferson, no, thank you, Judge. Anyone else can't think for the good of the body? Randy, did you have a comment or? Uh, uh, yeah, I just want to say. Uh, you've helped my question a bit. I'm just curious what's going on. I haven't uh, I tried to get a hold of Charlie last week, and then I tried to. He said he was in a webinar, and then I tried today, and he said he was in a court case, so I had no idea, but I was curious. So I, I guess I understand that you're going to sign another contract with Raymond Hagen, because the last, uh, uh, if you remember, I think it was uh, two weeks ago tomorrow, we met out there with yes. Scott, you, and. Uh, uh, then I, Charlie brought a extreme excavating from Beaver Dam out the following day. I took him out there, and he was thinking about just uh, going to county and state. And uh, well, the state can't move that quickly on the, on it, and uh, it was too much for I think for us to buy it off by ourselves. Uh, and we did get it, which will be passed on to with this. Well, I. Uh, I see where Charlie was coming from. He was pretty much telling me he was going to tell FEMA to take a flying leap, but I understand why we can't make them without them, but I don't, without, what I'm still concerned with is why we got to have some magic person somewhere to send FEMA a proposal. Uh, that's what, what I, I, I agree. understand. I agree, and it's on a lot of things that way, but that's the way, that's just the way that uh, things work better. Okay. Uh, I'm, well, let me well, rephrase uh, that. There again, like I've told you before, I appreciate that's the I appreciate yeah. you guys helping me try. That's the uh, way. That's the, all I can say. The success rate is greater with that way. Yeah. The odds are much better that we'll get it. Well, uh, if anybody's familiar with it, it's Raymond Hagen because he's been there with me more than anybody. Yeah. And, uh, uh, like I say, I, I still I, I still just find it hard to believe that. Uh, AIS or whoever they were just had to eat that engineering, but I guess if they did, they deserved it. So, um, okay, I'll look forward. To, can I get a copy of that contract tonight? Yeah, or? she's making one. She's going to make okay, it. Thank you. Well, uh, thanks very much. Uh, I'm, Good I'm going, news, I guess. I'm going to give you something informally that we're going to present formally later. Yeah. Uh, I have been, we interviewed all the fire chiefs in the county mm -hmm. and talked about their issues dealing with all the every everybody you know dealing with everything and it's mostly good it's just like our uh it, it ended up exactly like our uh employee morale thing did a whole lot better than we were suspected just had a few comments from them and i'm gonna give y'all these and i'm gonna present them whenever the fire association can be here to to do it all right here's the okay thank you so they'll do that officially when they can come and do it. But it's mostly good. You get individual complaints about things, but then when you went and uh, ask them in a more formal way, when it really come down to it, it was pretty darn good. All the agencies works good together. Law works good with them. Dispatch works good with them. Um, the uh, only common complaint or comment they had was on EMS restocking and changing of the patient. And that wasn't that bad. Okay. So we have nothing else to do the body. I'm going to call this meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.